I read this song to get them. I'm I'm sure they appreciate that. It it just looks like a body cam to me. But this is a vlogging camera. This is actually good. They are actually quite good. The first Canon actual vlogging camera, the V10. Especially compared to the other one, the set V1, this actually got a much more easy to remember product name. Just V10. V for vlogging. So this, this is just really, really interesting camera. I mean, it's, you can, it's basically a power shot compact camera. It's similar form factor, actually. If you like look at it like a, a camera like this, but then, yeah, it is, uh, when, when you're holding it, landscape orientation is shooting vertical video. And if you hold it vertically, it's shooting landscape video. I mean, it kind of camera-ish, but then, <laughs> it's not, this, this is really interesting. But yeah, to uh, color, kind of, this is like all black, this is like dual tone. There's a record, big record button in front, so it is easy. So the, of, of course there's a flip screen. So it's easier for you to start and stop recording from here. There is a fixed lens, which is 19 millimeters equivalent. So this is actually good for vlogging. On top there is two large stereo mic. Uh, when you shoot vertical, I don't think there is um, the, the stereo mic actually works well like that. So at the, yeah, there is a flip screen at the back. There is a little, a, a few more buttons. Really interestingly, there is a stand like that. So it can, it can, you can, you can use it to tilt, tilt the camera. Just put it down to shoot video or it can tilt down as well. So if you put it on a shelf, if you, if you have to facing down, it can face down. And also you can kind of like hold it like this with the, with the arm here. So it kind of like make the camera more easier to grab. But if you're shooting vertical video, um, no, the stand doesn't work for vertical video. I mean, you can stand it up for vertical video, but you can't you can't tilt it like when you're shooting landscape. And then at the side, there's a USB-C port for you to charge the battery. There is a HDMI output as well, and there's my input, so you can use external mic. You can use a wireless mic, especially. And then there's a tripod mount at the bottom. It actually uses micro. SD card. It should 1080, 50, or 60. And it should 4K as well. The sound recording, you can use the external mic. The sound recording, you can actually manually set up the recording level, which is great. Now it has a 19 millimeters equivalent lens. So this is really great for selfie. I just moved from there to here, so it looks really wet, but yeah, the digital eye, it doesn't have in-body stabilization. So the sensor doesn't shift to do stabilization, but it has the digital movie eye, just like many uh, recent released modern Canon camera, digital movie eye, and it works great with this 19 millimeters equivalent lens. It has face tracking. Uh, it doesn't have dual pixel AF. It only have contrast detection, but it looks fine with this even i'm here is kind of low light it's still it works and because the 19 millimeters is just really great for selfie compared to like sony the sony said we won the widest is 24 millimeters and they call it vlogging camera that's qu quite ridiculous <laughs> if you want to include your fan it's a little bit not enough social distancing. And if you turn on any digital IS, it crop in a little bit more. But this one, it is great. Uh, with the digital movie IS turned on, I still have just really wide angle for I to, if I'm shooting vlog outside and still show you a lot of things behind me. Oh, it's to get the new temperature gauge on the screen. It doesn't mean it's going to overheat yet because there is still a lit, uh, quite a 
like five or ten steps before it overheats. I have to point out at this point I have been shooting with the V10 for a while. I didn't shoot this video in the order of this editing, and I have been shooting a Cantonese version of this as well. But like that, at least you can tell like how much time you have before it overheats. So you can take a rest. Let the camera take the rest as well. The first time I saw this was the R8 and R50 first lock video. This is such an improvement over the R5 overheating gate. Also, something like really easily, you can change the brightness here. You can tap the screen here for brighter, darker, or you can use the button at the back. So this is basically exposure compensation, but in an easier to understand term, which to be honest, exposure compensation is quite a quite a mouthful as well. Why not? It, it, it basically do the same. You just want it to be brighter or darker. So digital movie IS there is an enhanced option as well. Let me turn it on now. Now I'm using enhanced digital movie IS. It cop in a little bit more, but because the lens is so wide, I still got a really wide uh, view angle. I mean, it's almost like the first time I got a camera that is said to be good for vlogging that actually got, got a lens that is good for vlogging. It's a shame that it doesn't have too much to set according, I mean, the color profile. It got color filter, it got some kind of funky color filter with retro or whatever. It got color tone. Basically, this is um, the, what is it, the color temperature setting. It's just when you are using auto color temperature, you can still switch it to a little bit more bluish or more amber. But of course, if you want to set it manually, you can. And interestingly, there is an anti filter as well, built in anti filter, free stops. So we can have it auto or manually on and off. So even if you don't know anything about this, this will do it automatic for you, make it more professional looking video. There is AF tracking, you can just press here and then it tracks pretty well, look at that. What's more, because you can put it on a lot of different surfaces, there will be time the level is a bit off that you didn't realize. But it has an auto leveling feature, it's just you have to choose between this or digital IS, you can't have both turned on. It also supports webcam mode. And with the Canon Camera Connect app, you can do live stream anywhere in the world with data connection. And the retail price will be just £449, which is around $449 US dollars. This is like almost half of the competition. By the way, you may think the image quality isn't really that good, but then this is a pre-production version. It is indoor, and don't remember this is just a 1-inch sensor, it is not a full frame. It is not even an APS-C sensor. It is much better when I'm facing a big window. Okay, so um, I think in total I have been shooting for like half an hour. So the temperature gauge now is over half of it. So I mean, uh, well, I have been shooting 4K. If you shoot 1080, it won't be as hot. But for a camera this small, yeah, there might be a problem with uh, overheating. I don't, I'm not sure yet. It might be, cause I will have to borrow this and do more extend um, testing. But now I have set it down. I have set it down. Uh, set it up for menu exposure, menu um, white balance. Although it doesn't have a custom white balance, I can't find a custom white balance option here. So I can choose a white balance preset. I have the wireless mic. The wireless, yeah, my wireless mic. The wireless go, wireless mic connected. So yeah, this is this is quite good, really. So this is really good for people who want a little bit better video quality than shooting with your phone. I mean, the phone shoot really good video these days, but then they all look a little. Some a lot of time they look a little bit fake. I think you would say that the, the camera is actually more natural looking, especially nowadays, young people just find out actual camera actually shoot better photo and video than the phone. It's, it is a viral thing on TikTok. So this is good for that. And for people like me, 
I have a full frame camera to shoot most of my video, but then this is still really handy to take it with me for as a second camera or just take it with me all the time. This will be really handy for traveling as well. Check this out. This is surprisingly amazing. Even though it looks like a body cam, 